it's just Sugar Rush game. Yep, hello everyone! Uh, you usually know me, uh, we have a new face here, because Kingdom is actually playing. Can you believe a nerve of this kid? Yeah, man, what a bot. Just kidding. What a cutie. I'm yeah, you know, from he's Nugget. a pretty good main tank, so, you know. I'm excited, I'm excited for this game. Yeah, I am too. One, it's the first game after Overwatch League games have happened, so I'm excited to see how that affects the meta and what heroes people yeah, run. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's that's a very excellent point. We're probably gonna be seeing some more triple or quad come out besides from Sugar Rush. Yeah, they... that being said, they yeah they were the the original. They brought it in like weeks before, so it's gonna be exciting to see what the comp's gonna be. Yeah, definitely very curious for that. We are just gonna be finalizing subs real quick. Yes, I'm worried. We, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for people to stay ready, and Kingdom's gonna be be right back. So yeah, Kingdom is a big thrower, um, especially for someone who's played with pugs, with him played casted alongside of him. I can tell you, he's a big thrower. This is exciting to see. Um, Melts, I believe it's Meta Rejects new DPS player is gonna be starting on this map. Yes. So meta rejects, we see two two players from former Solo Cup. We have Ivy Cat and Kingdom, which is always nice to see. Yeah, I definitely think this Sugar Rush versus uh, Solo Cups. I mean, uh, meta rejects should be a really good game. I, I I'm gonna overuse that joke a lot tonight. I promise. Um, Peter's also a really good player and definitely someone to keep an eye on. He's been somebody that I think has been like showing up and like standing out in pugs. Which is where it's it's hard to show up and stand out in pugs because there's so many talented DPS players. He's definitely one of the best in the league, in my opinion. Yeah, he also stole top five play of weeks from me. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, as I said, I 100% agree. Peter's a great DPS. He gives me nightmares. Um, Kingdom's also been playing really good. Cognitive Pit and Laze, I hear, are also some top-tier DPS that should be watched out for in the league. I know, you know Specs. I'm not sure what he's been what he's been playing recently, but I believe it was off tank. He's also somebody that's it's pretty good at off tank and is probably going to be eating a lot of the grabs that are coming out. I actually believe he is a main tank, he's and especially because he's now. coming in for siege drill, because that is typically for main tank. So definitely something to keep an eye on. Um, cognitive, V cognitive pit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got in trouble there. V. Yeah, V cognitive pit. Kind of outshines all the DPS on this team, but everyone on this team is fantastic. And we are now getting. We're getting ready. Rejects is ready. Just gotta wait for Sugar Rush. And there we go. You mean Spark? Alright, let's hop into it. Yeah, First map hunk of Spark. It. Um, to I'm really expecting to see some interesting comps coming out here. It's... Oh. Uh, a little scuffed here. Welcome to Blizzard. Yeah, it was a little bit too trigger heavy. <laughs> and, but... Just yeah. like your Ryan. <laughs> Alright, <now, laughs> fair, fair shot, fair shot. <laughs> As we get into Blizzard World, what are you expecting to see? Do you think one? Do you think Meta Rejects is going to come out on their, well, what they're known for their goats, or do you think they're going to try to surprise Sugar Rush's quad DPS strat coming out? I, I think we're going to see some goats, especially in Blizzard World's not the worst goats map. But if we see something else, I will be very happily shocked. <laughs> Just like Dallas was. <laughs> oh yeah, who cool. rest in peace, Dallas fans. Whoa. Rip and NBC. Um, yeah. Definitely very interesting to see what we're going to get here, and we will not be getting goats. This is a very interesting come coming out of Sugar Rush here. We'll be starting with Sugar Rush on the defense. And Meta Reject's going to be trying to take this point from them. Yeah, uh, I think we're seeing a little bit of memeing going on from Beast right now. Definitely in the spawn, there's just a little bit. Yeah, you know, if you don't meme in spawn, do you really deserve to be in any on any team? <laughs> I oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. 
Um, yeah, very interesting bunker com coming out of a junk and Hanzo. That's going to be a lot of pressure on the Ryan Shield, and I, I do like the Lucio pick there to get him close. We are going to be seeing Peter on the Widow, not the Genji. What's surprising to me is that this the defense from Sugar Rush is coming out with a Hanzo, not a Widow. Yeah, because we know V Cognitive Pit is known for his Widow, not not really known for his Hanzo, but it's going to be very interesting how they approach us here, and it. And we're gonna get right into this. Uh, Meta Rejects just gonna look. We're gonna play it smart. We're gonna play it slow. We're just trying to slowly approach his bunker. Specs has no shield right now. And I really do like this position from the Zenyatta while we wait for him to slowly get there. Ooh, like Ryan's getting over to the does right. Does get mm, Ivy Cat. Uh, Specs does get a big kill on the Melt if this is gonna force a regroup for Meta Rejects. The one thing about the Meta Rejects comp is they can't push up to push up out these push out these staggers. Yeah, and it's, they're definitely feeling the heat, because there is so much damage coming in from this trigger rush comp here, and do you think they consider swapping at some point and maybe go to a defense and try and help and mitigate some of this damage to the Ryan shield? They could definitely, I think that would be definitely be good for them, maybe if Meltz isn't getting the deflects that he wants, maybe switching over to Diva to eat them. The ball's coming in from Junkrat, but Junkrat is only at 47%. Cognitive pick coming up on another Hanzo Dragon. Looks like he's talking about... They are fighting the game enough, but Ashris, I'm sorry for butchering his name, goes down after he loses his shield pretty fast, though. Dragon's gonna come out from Vcog to hit, and it's just really gonna zone him out, and I think uh, Meta Rejects are gonna be forced to back out as Guac gets killed a Beast Manicon, and the pit takes down Kingdom. They're, they thing, have to get out here. Yeah, they have to get out. Ooh, and that's a pretty bad stagger. But another thing that's really odd to me right now is that Kingdom's on Zarya right now. Yeah, I thought he was taking over the main tank position for their team, but I believe he's. I think there that I heard yesterday he was deciding to switch up. Oh, but there's the monkey switch. So they're going to be going dive with a, monk, or a monkey or monkey line. It's interesting because it's going to be a lot harder for for him to really get any help when he goes in for a dive, and that's a good diva. I, I think they're going to want to be using the shield to help get the Ana in the Widow and having the monkey, oh, the monkey goes in with the Nano here. Oh, he's just gonna go right in and a gigantic shatter from Asuras and it's just gonna be all over now. Kingdom gets on the Zen there. Yeah, Kingdom main tank coming out and I think we're gonna see maybe someone swap over to a Diva here or we're gonna see this double main tank comp stick around. I would be surprised if one of the, one of the two don't switch, but... If they're gonna stick with it, I guess. Okay. We'll see if Kingdom probably is going to try to make some room for Peter here and let Astra stay on the point and keep Ivy protected with the shield. Spex. Yeah, and Spex is going to be moving over to Ooh, Reinhardt. Flank? Is he going to get anything on the flank shots? Come on, channel your carpe. Ooh, he's going to get caught in a pit down to really low, but it's going to be Diva hard doing. to find noisy caribou. Kingdom's coming to pick up Peel. When a tire is going to come out at Dimitri and it's going to kill Beast, man. And that's probably going to be forcing Meta Rejects to reset as Noisy Caribou does get a kill on a Peter. That and what I'm seeing right here, I feel that the Meta Rejects tanks would do a lot better if they were trying to stick together or... I don't know, I would I would like to see their the combo with the Ryan Zarya here or, or a Diva, a full dive combo here. But we're going to see how this plays out for them. The Diva's over a little bit. Yeah, because there's so little synergy right now with this Ryan and Winston here. They're, the Sugar Rush Zen is doing a good job staying pretty far back in the back. So anything, if they want to dive him, they have to re use a lot of resources. Yeah, Peter, Peter. got a fantastic job of that, killing that. Ooh, and he's going to get two, and is he going to get three? Monzo Ooh, Dragon coming in. Oh, Dragon coming in. Ooh, a big, big bomb coming bomb. in from Noise Caribou, taking out Ashuras and Ivy Cadish Wood. But Hold Meta Rejects right could still take this with a big pick on the Diva Max. Oh, yeah, but Cognitive Pit does get a big kill on the Peter. But and a it big looks like pick Melt's on the Zen. Gonna... Yeah, Kingdom and Melt both come up with a very big kill, and I don't think we're going to stagger it, baby. We're just going to try and get out. And Kingdom's going in right now onto their backline, just keeping them in their spawn, not letting them out. They def Kingdom was trying to make them not have a recontest here, and he might have been very successful there. They're going to have sights here popped up to see the Sugar Rush engage here. Ryan coming in. Yeah, but actually, Peter doesn't have any line of sights for shots right now. He's gonna take one, but he's not gonna hit anything. And ooh, and Genji cover the blade. Ooh, big blade with the, with the double. That's gigantic. Three. Melts. It's gonna be free. Can he make it? But more? the sugar rush tanks are still on tank with, or with on point with Amora here. Yeah, but it's looking like this is all meta rechecks of a kill feed. Beastman with a nice 2k 
And it's looking like it's all over here, and it's gonna be on a fair point for meta rechecks. Spawns are a little, are, got the bad spawn from meta rejects here, but. Oh, baby Diva was doing a great point. job contesting. Yeah, there we go, he's finally taking the point. Peter popping off, getting cognitive pit and walk. Big staggers and sugar rushes being very staggered right now. You give him a, a, like a sliver of space and he'll make you pay for it. Yeah, this is looking like a fantastic pickup by Meta Rejects. Also, their new player Melts, he's looking really strong on the Genji. I remember in Pugs, he was deflecting a lot, so I'm expecting, expecting something big here. Yeah, it's, it's, this comps are kind of very well for Meta Rejects, and Cognitive Pit is going to be swapping over to the Reaper here, and down goes Kingdom. And Ashuras is in their backline? They were probably trying Asterisk. to get a reset Asterisk, there. Okay. I apologize again. Go in instead of die. Or right, well, let's see. Oh, we get this. We get the kingdom over to the Zarya swap. They look like they want to get a big alt combo to wipe this to wipe this final part here. Yeah, I think we we're going to be trying to push for a nano blade. That'd be my thought, but I could be wrong. Most likely, am. Cognitive Pit. Ooh, he's he's lurking. He's going to try and find something. Diva Bomb's going to come out, and it's not going to get anyone. And uh, Melt is going to get a here. Oh, he's here. Going he's far. here. He's going to come out from Melt. It's going to get one. I'm uh, not sure if it's going to get any more, but no, Melt will go down to be Moira. Good play. Uh, it wasn't the worst play coming out. Us. Uh, yeah, Moira is actually really low HP, but I don't I think she's going to make it out in time. Meta Regis is going to have to take this a little slower until their Genji is going to be able to get back. Kingdom yeah, I goes think down he, low, but gets out. I Ooh, think he just Peter, back up. Big pick. Ooh, a big Both shot, shot out from Specs. A little bit bigger by Specs there. He got he caught the Astros going to for a swing after he hit the shatter. Yeah, Sacred Wallace is gonna take down Kingdom and Melt, and it's gonna look like a reset. And With 109 left in the clock, it's looking like if Kingdom can build a grab before they can get a trans in, then that might be the only way they're gonna be able to get this year. Yeah, and all advantage currently is in favor, I believe, of Meta Rejects, because they do have that Nano, and I think you just Nano Kingdom here and try and get him back Rav. Yeah, he's got to be looking to get high charge here. And Kingdom is actually way high charge here. And I, I'm not sure what we're saving Nano for, but little big. gets a big kill, big it's two. Big. They took it slow enough, let give good space for their Widow. It's really good. But, uh, we'll see a meta, we'll see a sugar rush recontest on this, I believe. Yeah, if we're also gonna have nano blade, and I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to build grab in time. Spex is gonna move on to the hammer. We're gonna pop coalescence early in a, a big, big shatter, shatter. Out from Asterisk. He will take down the enemy Moira. I believe this he shut her down during ult too. Ooh, and Trans will come out just in time. Kage to Pet's gonna come out with a gigantic. Death Blossom, and it looks like Sugar Rush is gonna hold. Asterisk is just gonna go in and try and make something happen here. He is gonna go get Guac, but he will go down to Lays, and no one will be able to get to the point. Both teams are looking very strong. I believe the the Rhine's monkey looked a lot stronger than I thought it was gonna be at first, but they looked really good capping second, but Sugar Rush came in with a strong, hard defense on third. Yeah, I really think they held on to that Nano just a bit too long there. Initiating match. I, I think that if you pop that nano a little bit earlier, it could have turned the entire the entire game. But what do I know? I believe that I'm surprised when they hit the shatter in the backline on the Moor, and I believe it was the Reaper. I thought that might have been it for um, Sugar Rush, but they still came back. That was a good wrecking ball swap to be able to contest the point for that long. Yeah, great job by Specs for keeping that alive for so long. And do you think we're going to see going goats forehead? We'll see very shortly, but I believe that I think maybe a 3-2-1 would be good for them so they can still have the Widow pressure, but maybe a little bit more uh, defense matrix or eating would be good. Uh, we'll no, see we come out on. be seeing goats, but we will be seeing the cognitive Pit McCree, and I don't believe we've seen the Pit McCree. And if it's anything like his Widow... We should be scared. We should be scared. Both teams look like they're opting out of the Widow duel for right now. We'll see if they keep that the whole map or just for this first point here. The Hanzo Dragon will be big to clear off the point. Oh, and they have the Zarya combo. Yeah, they have Graf Dragon. 
Oh, you, you look at uh, Sugar Rush, you don't really have much to comp it with. But they do have Bob, and that is already winning the book right there. You have Bob, champ. It's all over. Send um, Bobs. Yeah, but always send Bobs. Only thing we really, really want. And we're gonna go take high... We're gonna go take high ground. Smart, give Ash and McCree a complete high ground control. I apologize, I stutter so much. Okay, never mind, we are taking high ground. Rotate all the way around. Sugar Rush, the rotation looks pretty clean. They're all together. We'll see. And then it rejects support. Fair, they expect it. They expected the push. I would have liked to see. I would like to see them try to kite that back a little bit harder. But Ooh, better, Peter uh, gets a big two kills. It's oh my god, Peter's with three. This is very winnable right now. Oh, and down goes Peter, and down goes Melt. The Ryan. Yeah, Peter, Peter, pumpkin to leader. <laughs> I would uh, to see if we can see. Hopefully, we'll see the Meta Rejects team. Switching over to a Lucio to help their Ryan and Zarya disengage and engage into the fights a little bit stronger because that that engage from Sugar Rush was very strong. The Lucio Ryan and then a McCree stun. McCree already coming up on his high noon here. Yeah, that was. Ooh, we don't yeah, I just agree with that. We are gonna pop the lesson on Sugar Rush and I knew will come out and it will get Ivy Cat Peter and Specs will take care of Atris. After that high noon kill on Peter, you'd think he takes the Widow do Widow do here against Guac. You think you would, but he's gonna stick up to the Hanzo here, and Guac's also gonna take out Beastman. They are this? at 60% on Kingdom Grab, and Ooh, and Kingdom's gonna go down to Cognitive Pit. I don't think we're Guac. gonna be able to contest in time. This double hit scan look from Sh from Sugar Rush is very strong. It's oh, very deadly. Peter the will swap. finally swap to the Widow, and they're gonna they have Nano Blade here, and I they won't even be able to touch. Astros is gonna go try and get in there, but he's just gonna end up dying that's and feeding. Gonna, that's gonna put them back. Ooh, and the shatter blocked by Kingdom with the bubble. Still get on it, but he will be able to get out of there. He has that. Once he hears that, that hammer down, he's there. Nice to see. Yeah, Melt can get out too. Melt's just at one HP. That bubble again. Kingdom saving his life so they can recontest here. Yeah, Kingdom's high charge. Looking for a grab here, and it could be big because they do. Have, oh, never mind. They do have a Lucio all in. I believe Specs just got hit, and I didn't see what happened there. Ooh, McCree going for the high the noon, but right grab, in front of the widow. It's looking nice big. Defense. Ooh, and a big grab coming out, and they aren't gonna use B. And Nano Blade here. The Nano Blade by Melts. This new Genji player is really playing well for them today. I'm excited to see that. They got a nice protector one. Yeah, but that was a little bit too much, if you ask me, for Metal Rejects. He had to fight in the back. I, I never thought the grab was necessary, along with Banana Blade. But they still have Shatter and Sights. Uh, it was a lot. They did commit a lot. However, they still do have Sights here for to see their, their Engage and Shatter here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we go for, ooh, a big pick ooh, from Cognitive big. on Melts there. V Cognitive Pit. V Cognitive Pit with a big bomb coming all Beast Man. Ooh. Unlucky on the stairs. They're gonna that have to reset here. Good block, yeah. And it looks like Kingdom won't be able to get out with that charge, which is gonna be really bad. He's gonna have to start fresh, and, but he will get a DMAC, but Cognitive Pit will take him down. So that's at least one positive. And Peter does get a big kill onto V Cognitive Pit. That'll be big. If they can still stall here, it gives Kingdom an opportunity to get his grab off. Diva will probably be still looking for a mech here. Oh, big shatter last They won't need Fan anything else to clean up. Yeah, this. fantastic shatter. It's going to wipe a point. And we are gonna, it looks like we are also staggering Baby Diva quite well. And it looks like we're finally just going to clean her off. Four minutes to go by Sugar Rush. And they only have to go a little bit for her, so... It's looking a little scary for my rejects right now. Three minutes and 53 seconds on the clock. Sugar Rush is really in control of this fight, I believe. They can take, they have the time to decide how they want to take this. They can take that perfectly. Oh, and, and Peter right does here go might down be one. The big that, Widow duel win right there. That could be all she wrote. Uh, oh, and Quark's going to down to Ivy Cat. That is awful for them. And it looks like they almost see Nine Bear. And a Shadow's going to come out and it's going to be gigantic. Bex just oh, waits for the charge. Go down, Crab's going to come out, but no one can touch Sugar Rush. We'll take the first map. map one. It's very, very interesting to see. I'm, neither team is on goats and neither team is on triple DPS. But and I'm very disappointed about the second one.
No, 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 the first one. No, no <laughs> ghosts, no ghosts, no ghosts. It is, that was just a gigantic shatter. They had all, it was all the setup. I believe that's prob that's why they were setting up, they set the monkey, they switched to monkey there with Kingdom. Because they knew they had Nano and that's how they wanted to engage. They wanted a Nano monkey and have a Rhine look for a shatter when everybody turned to him. Yeah, definitely uh, very curious to see. I'm very curious to go back and watch your cons and see what the exact call was, but probably was simple. It worked well. They It works. Fortunately for them, Sugar Rush takes the map. And Melps, I know we've talked quite a bit about him, and he's been doing quite well for meta rechecks so far. And while we wait for something maps, um... The guap what? swap to Widow on second and third there for Sugar Rush was something else. Because he, how, if for that last fight, he almost secured it single-handedly by the, the double picks. The pick on the Widow there, and then the pick on the Ana. Yeah, that pick on Viana and Peter was gigantic, and it absolutely won them the map. It if opened it... it up. They can't... I'm I'm excited to see. What map are we going to next? Yeah, well, we wait on that. Um, I definitely think Specs did really well on this Reinhardt here. He played great. He didn't let too many Shatters go by that I noticed. It's seeming, it does seem like Specs is keeping a little bit more of a calm head than Astros. Astros does seem to be going in a little bit aggressively, but you can't tell that like off the bat because he is going with a monkey sometimes. So, yeah, sometimes, yeah. I, uh, oh yeah, many rejects did have first map pick. Um. Yeah, um, I don't know if we'll be having any subs. Yeah, I haven't seen yeah, any subs. We'll be, we will be heading Hanamura. over to Hanamura. Definitely an interesting map, Bob. We're gonna see any May here, cause I know May May is really annoying on this map, but I hate May with a passion and Sombra. Well, Interested in seeing some of these comps that are gonna be coming out on Hanamura. If we have any solo heals on the defense. Yeah, um, I'm. Also, is there going to be no subs? Don't know. It seems like maybe they'll go two maps and just Abe. swap two maps. Everybody out. Oh, they're Abe for Ivy. Yep, so we have one sub so far and nothing else. Okay, uh, Specs will be riding the bench this game. It's going to be interesting to see how Cedro comes in and takes the Rhine battle over. And for, actually, from my knowledge, I believe uh, Seadrill, uh, I believe he plays more of the Orissa and um, him and Furvis team. So we could be seeing those squad DPS guns come out, or triple DPS guns. That's just that from what I've seen. Interesting. I would, I would really, I would like to see that. With the with the league coming out now, it's it's. I think this upcoming week, I think this meta, this match is a treat for us, and I think this upcoming week of tranquility matches are going to be something fun to watch yep. because teams are going to see something that yeah, I've got them in a game that they're like, ooh, I want to try that. That seems super cool. So it's going to be exciting to see what team can pick it up and what team can master it. Uh, I did not catch that one. Who is that? Sit for Skid Row. Yep, my bad. I missed one in the chat. You have to wonder if the the full unity of Sugar Rush's um, icons is shaking a little bit of meta rejects. Because I know when I get into a game and I see a team full of full unity, it's very scary. Yeah, Sugar Rush is a very scary team. They are definitely, in my opinion, I think they're the third best team in the league, right below Gravity. Um, I definitely think they've played really well. Initiating match. Yeah, and what do you think we're gonna see here? I'm, I'm seeing, I'm thinking we're gonna see an Arisa Bastion here. I think it's gonna be a little unorthodox coming off of a defense. They do have, they do have a lot of momentum with map win number one. We'll see if they can try to crush Meta Rejects' hopes right here with a Bastion strat, but I don't know if they'll bring it out. And, and I think the most important thing right now for better rejects is to stay positive. It was it was Definitely. a close map. It was a very first close map. 
very close first map. The, I can't speak English, and I think we just need to ignore that last map and move on to this one. Absolutely. It's a long series, and anything can happen in any given week. So. And I will not be getting the Simbashian comp I was hoping for, but we will be seeing a May, though. Definitely one thing to notice, Sugar Rush does not have a defensive support all here. Well, they be the, and they are on defense first, also. Yeah, that's very interesting to see. Exactly. We know Meltz has been been on his Genji all day today, and he has been hitting two to three man blades. Yeah, that could be really bad for them if they don't have anything to stop a blade. But uh, we will be seeing Meltz on the Sombra. Ooh, I'm all aboard the Sombra train as long as it's not against me. Okay, he will be going after Genji. I got baited. Hans is going to know what comp they're going to be running with a fat vision on the door, seeing all of them here. Yeah, we will be seeing Kingdom on Mazari again, and Peter on the Widow. It's going to be up to him to get some big picks. Uh, Riley Bag's really going to be the only thing they have to contest him, so Peter could just have free reign here for a little bit. Just good early stages. Oh, Peter's going to take it at a very aggressive angle. He's not going to get anything, but he... He's gonna show him that he's scared. They do beat out the wall, so they are able to push in. Ooh, they do beat out the wall, but there's a gigantic anti wall. And they wall off the Reinhardt. No help for him. Melt is gonna get in there to try and help. He should be able to get out. Peter 6 6G uh, LTE, whatever it is, does get a big kill onto Frosty, so. I'll put it does get rid of about to say. Sugar Rush, we're gonna be manned down. And Meta Reject would have ha had had an opportunity to push there, but Sifakilla with a big res there keeps them in here in the fight on first. That was very big for Sif, and it's just be back to just trying to bait out this wall so you can push it in. And it, ooh, they do drop the wall for it. out, and I, it melts. We'll be able to get one, and. Peter 6, G gets 2, and it's going to be gigantic. Abe looks like he's getting frozen in the back line, though. Both supports down for Sugar Rush, so this should be all it for better rejects. And Peter 6, G will get a kill on delays. Securing the point, Riley Bad. It's going to be moving over to McCree. Interested about that pick. It's good to see this Lucio go back and pick up his team. And it's good to see this Lucio for meta rejects, so they can really utilize Kingdom and Astros here. And bring them wherever they want to go on the map. Yeah, but one thing to notice, they still don't have a defensive support all to block a blade. So right now, if you're you better rechecks, you just got to build up that blade in. It's looking really good for you. Kingdom also coming in here on an alt. And you see D.Va trying to zone Peter out. They might be able to throw it here after this wall. Ooh, and Blizzard will be coming out. Uh, it looks like it'll just be getting Asterisk. Reinhardt, yeah. Looks yeah, like that was... Rejects will be retaking this fight. Getting, in, getting a May ult out is big, especially on second point here, when if the fight when the fight comes to point, and if they have that May ult, that's going to be something tough to get on. Yeah, May is really hard to deal with, especially on Hanamura and most two CP maps, and to have that ult gone, it's a big weight lifted off your shoulders here. So they do look like they're switching to a Lucio here, but he does have a long way to build up to this sound barrier. If they do have quite low heals in this comp against this in general, they will be popping Valk quite early here. Mel's is getting pretty close to that blade. Ooh. Riley oh, coming with a out. big stun on stun and flash onto the honor there. going to come out here. That's great for better rejects. And it's just going to be a wipe here. That's fantastic for meta rejects. Ooh, and Peter 6G does get a big kill into Riley Pad here. D both DPS did survive there, and you look at it, they got six ults coming in for meta rejects compared to Sugar Rush's this is, one. This has got to be the push for them, you'd think here. With four minutes and 39 seconds left in the clock, that would be a big win here on yeah. Panamura. And with a nano blade online, this is just looking like Melt is just gonna rip and tear through their team, and a big kill goes on the Big delays. grab there by Kingdom. Shatter's gonna come out, Blade's gonna come out. They're burning all of their ults. What is an old economy? Beastman making sure he keeps his eye on the monkey there and tries to get, the, get, get him off the widow. Onto, onto Peter 6G, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Mace is gonna come out and stall on the point here. Ooh, Mercy's gonna get a res. She's gonna get him. But oh, right on that Ooh, big deflect. So we only give him two. But both and it dealers looks like there. Sugar Rush is gonna win it again. Are yeah. you kidding me? Did they just win that? 
They come in. McCree came in big there with a double high noon on the supports. Yeah, way too many ultimates were used. That, that is really bad for meta rejects. You burn four ults there and don't get anything out of it. Lucio coming up on this beat, which is going to be very big to stop both Melt and Kingdom here. And they have Blizzard again here, so if you're meta rejects, you just go in dry unless you can deal with that Maymer. Kingdom's going to be going over to the Diva here. A big problem is when meta rejects pushes in, they leave the McCree backside. He last fight he went in high ground, rotated to kill Donna, and it was a big problem for them. Yeah, we'll oh Astrex will be moving over to a monkey here. We're gonna be moving over to a more dive oriented comp. The wall's gonna get no one and the wizard's gonna come out and I don't think it's gonna get anyone right now. And big, big purple there by the Anti's gonna come out, cross plant is gonna take down E, but Astrus will take down Riley Bad and Your SG frozen by May. Oh, but May runs out of ammo and has to reload. And oh, it's looking like this is in favor of better rechecks right now. It's just trying to get to an all-out brawl on point. Riley Bad does take that on Astrus, and now it's looking like it's good. Riley Bad will never kill on a beast, man. Let me finish, please. And it's looking like it's just going to be all meta rejects. And now as I say that, Peter, not Peter, yeah, Peter will finally get a kill on the Frosty Clive, and Melt is going to take out Noise and Caribou. And this is just looking like meta rejects. Okay, we're not going to win it. I'm just cursing this entire match. Sugar Rush <laughs> coming in very strong here. To have a fight on, especially with a Lucio and a May here, it's going to be really hard for meta rejects to win this point without something big and some combo that really destroys maybe half them at least three four yeah they need to get at least three or four and they do have a nano bite but they do have beat if i if i met a rejects so i'm trying to get that prime one i'm going to use that prime one to go really deep onto that lucio and i'm just going to try and make him pop, pop his all or you kill him That's they got it they have to get beat out of here so and melts but melts goes down and that is keeps his high that game. is catastrophic for them right now that is their combo nash just goes down to lays Riley Bat here is being very dangerous. His McCree is something that is just shutting down every push that Meta Rejects tries to take. It's going to be hard Bat, to get on him. More like Riley Glad Sugar Rush picked him up. <laughs> okay, no, I'm, I'm sorry. That was bad. That was... <laughs> that was... The new players coming into League and definitely making an impact for their team. We'll see. Melts also having the Blade. Riley Bat having the High Noon. We'll see. And Ashrith does have Primal and now it's going to be very interesting. Wall's going to come out. It's not. Uh, they should be Sugar fine. Sugar Rush has six ults here using one here. But we'll see how many uh, they have to use to Tom hold. is going to get nothing from Noisy Caribou. High Noon's going to come in. Is it going to get anything? It will get Melts. It looks like Ashrith knocked him into line of sight of Melts right there. Kingdom looked like he had a defense mage on it, but it also looked like it was just a very good time. Sheet does get a kill on the He's popping a high noon of his own and gives Riley bad. He, it was a duel at high noon, and Peter wanted May with the free. So mercy, he get the res off. That was gigantic brain coming out from Lays. And now they're gonna try to go get the staggers. See, see if they can find Ana here trying to get out. Last Ooh, with the push. Sleep on monkey to hopefully get out of here. Yeah, that's gonna get out, but I think you have to nano blade and just try and get a kill through B, which is gonna be hard enough. They're gonna have and B, Valk Valk well. and Mail. So when when Meta Rejects commits too much to the point with no cooldowns, that Mail's gonna come in and freeze him. We'll yeah, see McCree is still getting high ground. Bomb's gonna come out from Kingdom. It won't be able to get anything. Ult's gonna come out. Kingdom was not even ready to eat it. He's gonna get instant frozen. He will be losing back. Astro is gonna go try and make a play. It's desperation time. They need a pop their ult. And Mel just taking this high ground. Out, but it's not gonna matter. C Drill's gonna kill Beastman and Frost Clive's gonna take down Abe. It's looking pretty much all over, over right now for Meta Rechecks. Well, for their offense at least. Bomb's gonna come out from Noisy Caribou. It's not gonna get anything. Riley Bad a will big be cancel ready. on the mech there. High noon will be coming out. Big High Noon. Right Good defense matrix there. We'll see if the two tanks here can wipe off, but I don't know. Beta should need to Put stay alive, bar. try and get a regroup going, but I don't think they're gonna be able to stay alive Beast long Beastman gets in there, tries to give him a little bit of healing and speed. Beastman's just gonna be basically there for moral support. Abe's just <laughs> trying to heal him, but Beastman is getting close to B. If Beastman could stay alive just a little bit longer, which it looks like he will not Beastman. stay alive a little longer, maybe he could have made something happen. Yeah, Riley Pad with another 2k. Another cleanup. But Kree's been causing a lot of problems for Meta Rejects every time. He'll be rotating per almost perfectly around, and he'll be somewhere that they have to use probably both Diva and Genji and maybe Monkey even to get him off.
and it's it's causing a lot of problems, yeah, spreading them really much. thin. Yeah, right. Riley Pat has been incredible on this McCree tonight. Very scary. You know, you, everyone thinks of when they think of this team, they think of V Cognitive Pin as widow, but I think people may sleep a little bit on Riley Bad. It's no wonder to me now why they were so good at the quad DPS. A lot of DPS players stepping up in big time tonight. Yeah, I've seen, I think I've seen Lays on support. I think I've seen him on Tracer. I don't know what he cannot play, but who he is good. So, what do we want to see? Hopefully, for have a meta rejects to have a little bit of comeback here. Um, I, I think we're gonna have to see maybe a little bit of a step up in the main tank department because I feel like C drill and Specs have been like a complete step ahead over Asterisk. Agreed. It's gonna be a big one, but I believe Asterisk has been making some big plays. It's just it comes down to them keeping Specs and C drill just keeping their head a little longer and keeping their teams in it for a little bit longer each fight. Yeah, that's... and it's not... It's gonna be hard to do, and we also got... I think we need to see Peter pop off a little bit harder, which is crazy to say, because he's been doing also really well this game. So we'll see the McCree Tracer coming out on attack here. We wonder what we're gonna see Tracer try to get in the back line, see if we can bully the Zen or the on out. They do have a Zen, so maybe expect a one clip on the Zen. Ooh, noisy care getting into gonna mecha. Get in uh, ooh, Lace Peter is gonna go with a down. big hit on the head. And uh, looks like noisy caribou will be pushed down shortly here. And yeah, she. Uh, I just think she's like they're gonna have to be resetting here. Yeah, good Melis hold there. By sure up. Meta rejects. Uh, very interested what their strategy going into this was. It looked like the diva was trying to bring the tracer in. But both Melt and Peter were there to deny that area. We'll yeah, see if they try to do it again because Tracer is set up on the high ground. Looks like she's trying to get around. Unspotted this time, I think. Peter uses his recon at the top right. Oh, Peter sees her. Yeah, Tracer's just trying to get him to move back to point. Not really trying to assassinate anyone. Just Ryan and Kingdom. That gets a big kill on the Kingdom here. And Noisy Caribou's going to have a big, big kill on the Astros. Melon does get a big kill on a Cedral here, and but Cedral does get res and Abe does go down. Peter 6k does get a, a 6g does get a kill on his base. We should get a 6k. That pressure oh. from the tracer made it a lot really hard for the healers to try to get to King and Astros there because it looked like they were holding very very firm at the front door, but that tracer is giving them problems. Yeah, Lisa is a very good tracer, and I think I've also seen him on Zen as I mentioned. So good at that. I don't know. I think the motto of this team is, what can't they play? Absolutely. I think they're, I think they're most better immune in, this, in the league. My ultimate is going to be showing, showing all this and expecting them to come out on triple DPS and then coming out in regular conference still. Showing they are very strong and they are here to stay. Cedral. Yeah, getting a little bit away from Cedral here. We'll see if they can take advantage of either of the tanks. Yeah, here. he's kind of by himself, but he's looking to be completely fine. It looks like Riley Bad's unnoticed and unchecked on this high ground right now. He's gonna go try and push her down. Peter, he can't land the Phantom Hammer right now. And it's just no allow Brawl on point. Riley Bad will just concede the high ground for now. Please just get a big kill on Astros and Kingdom. This is looking very bad for Meta Rejects right now. Blade is coming out from Melton, does get killed across the climb. Bomb's gonna come out and it's gonna get two. High Noon's coming out from, I believe, Riley Bad, but it's gonna go down. Beastman and Melter keeping Meta Rejects hopes alive and it's not looking too good. Astros is gonna come out, he's gonna charge out where he's not gonna He's somehow gonna live and he's gonna kill Cedro as well and, it, and wow, Meta Rejects just won that. Great hold by Meta Rejects right there. Incredible Blade. From Melt looking very good. Peter Six. Ooh, Melt does get a li really late stagger onto Frosty Five, and we will be seeing Summer coming out from Sugar Rush. Are uh, we thoughts of a Summer pick right now? Somber pick is going to be a good, and you, they have a lot of time to get that EMP here, and it's going to be good to scout to see where they're setting up. See you later. Four minutes and forty seconds left on this attack. We'll see yeah, what they can make it do. They do know the general area on where the Sombra was, or at least Asher's fire strike. Um. 
Oh, I'm Looks like they'll be playing I, slow up top right, uh, trying to get the Sombra to scout them, scout for them. Yeah, the Sombra opens up a lot of opportunities for ult combos for them, both the Diva Bomb and McCree High Noon. We'll see what they decide to combo it when they have it. Sombra's positioning Ryan is a little going bit questionable. Hard. Melf starts to get hacked and he has played. That could be very bad. Melf does have played, but he's hacked and everything looks to be fine. But as of right now, the Meta rejects. Although they are, they are on defense here. They look, they look like they should be very comfortable here with a lot of ult. A big block by. Yeah, I can't great. tell if it was Kingdom with his bubble or Astros, but Astros. both of them were there. And it's trading. We are going to see a hero blade from Melt as soon as he gets out of spawn. Bomb's going to uh, come out. It's not going to get anything. And this is looking very bad for Meta Rejects. But we do get Riley bad before he can get another big I high think, noon. I think that was almost a little bit of a waste of a high noon. Somber is coming up on on EMP here, and. Meta Reject looks like they're going to be able to hold here. Somber up top high ground is looking for a hack on the Tracer for most of that fight. Yeah, uh, this Somber is just now getting close to all. Oh, not sure if we can say AKM Somber yet, but I definitely was very curious on whether Somber was positioning because I think I saw her consistently on the top right, not really going in for hacks. We're going to... I would like to see either. I would like to see probably them try to take it fast here because Sugar Rush has an EMP bomb combo coming on point. That if and it's only one tick, so if they throw it on point, it's going to be very hard for Meta Rejects to not give up that tick and lose here. We'll see two minutes and 44 seconds. Oh, Sombra looking for the EMP up there. Oh, yeah, the bomb is, on point. But the bomb but they missed the combo. The if they threw but, the bomb down the stairs, it would have been the Let's go down. And he had Astros has Shatter here on point. Looks like he's trying to. Oh, but they so goes down. Reaper Astros, here from the Riley really back. really bad. Dude. Peter does get a big kill to see. We're going to need a hero play right now from, from Melt. He's going to pull the blade. Looking for the Ana here. He's going to get the Ana, but he needs to touch looking point. Reaper. Oh, Sorry, it's coming for the point touch. Looks like if they can. Oh, big, oh, big stick, stick right oh there by god, Peter. Oh my god, Cedro just rushed right into the Diva. Oh wow. my god, report Cedro. Oh, get him out of here. Toxic band reported. <laughs> I, that I'm... was a big hold there. And Sugar Rush committed a lot to that fight. I know, oh, and here we come. The Sombra switches off over here to a Pharah. We'll see what, we'll see if we have the Tracer swap to a McCree here, if I they notice it. Time, uh, it's all gonna be up to Peter. Tracer's, you know? Tracer's very far up. I don't think he's gonna be able to get the swap here. He's gonna have to go for the clip here. So Farrah can't do a lot of damage to his backline. Peter looking from the backline. Let's see if he can find a stick on somebody. Oh, Farrah's, Farrah's got an eye on him. Farrah knows he's fair. It's oh. hard for Peter to be playing this Tracer and go up big. Oh, the crowd's gonna come out, and I'm not sure how much follow-up we're gonna get from it. Ooh, Riley Pat does go down by to Laze. Ooh, and Laze, not Laze, I mean Peter, and he's just gonna go for prevent res, and he's also gonna take down Sia. So this is looking very good by Meta Rejects here. Beautiful Only grab there. Kingdom sensed that they were coming up the stairs, tossed it at the wall, and boom, got them all there for Astros to swing on. Yeah, great hold by Vera. I think they will use one all. They're gonna come up on a nano blade here, and these blades have really kept Meta Rejects in the game. Meta Rejects looking in a very strong position to hold this point here. With both and are finally off. rejecting the meta. <laughs> are finally rejecting the meta. Melt gets away. Up, and like what? Like here. six weeks? <laughs> Let's see if we can have. Ooh, Peter. Oh, they look. They find Peter looking for a backline pick. It's gonna be hard for him to pick somebody. He might have to be looking for your fair or mercy here. Diva's a lot of attentions on Peter right now, though. It's last fight time now. We're Getting gonna dashes have to up on top Peter right. Lays, and I don't think we're gonna be able to get a res off. Well, they are gonna go for a res, but Peter won't be able to stop it. And I think Nanobots gonna be coming out any minute. It's gonna Reaper gonna and be... Monkey are really a re ooh Reaper with the big ult here can get a shield up. Big anything. Blade's gonna come out. I think it's Nano. It is a big oh, bomb wow. taking Meta Rejects, not letting them on the point here. Uh, Melf gives nothing with a blade Kingdom here. Kingdom sitting at 90% charge. Ooh, but he does go down and Lace gives a big double kill. This is Melf's looking really bad for Meta Rejects. It's all over. Sugar Rush. Just a little bit too much there. There, That Ferris swap, when they couldn't get a swap to Hitscan there, made it really difficult for Meta Rejects. An Astros look at play the game. I'm not sure what this was. The grab through the wall and the, this was big. Yeah, it's pretty big. Oh, and he got Shattered Bear as well. I did not notice that. 
And we should be moving to halftime shortly. I believe. Still looking like a very close game. That hold, we're gonna love to see a reverse sweep here, hopefully. And I, I just gotta say, this is a great start for a reverse sweep here. Excellent start to win. And I, have we had a reverse sweep yet? I don't, I'm not sure if we have. Have we had a reverse sweep? Do you know? I don't know. We, yeah, we have not had a reverse sweep yet, so... Uh, I think Meta Rejects can do it. <laughs> and we will be moving to a 10 minute halftime. Somebody I'm looking to see is Gecko this this half. And I Aaliyah, definitely I wonder... knew another, another pickup from them. I believe she is, she's an off tank, so we'll, maybe we'll see Kingdom taking over some main tank position spot. And really trying to shore up their defense and offense. Yeah. Okay, we're... Yeah, wish better rejects well. Wish Sugar Rush best of luck. And we will be back shortly.
Hoping for a reverse sweep here. We're hoping for another uh, map five. Uh, just going to spend the Overwatch week today because uh, during halftime, uh, the Gladiators were bringing it to a map five. So, hoping to see a map five here. Uh, it's really up to Meta Rejects to do that. You think we're going to see a reverse sweep today? I think there is a possibility. So, let's talk about the subs in for this map real quick. For Sugar Rush, Specs will be coming in for Noisy Caribou, and I believe Cognitive will be coming in for Lays, and Guac will be coming in for Riley. And for Meta Rejects, it looks like the, lo the roster for this for Rialto is going to be Kingdom, Peter, Gecko, Alela, Ivy Cat, and Abe. Oh, it's Alea. Yeah. One thing I see when I see this these these comps, I see Meta Rejects going back to their core Welcome and trying goats here. Yeah, Hopefully. and can, can we just add how fraudulent Kingdom is? He joins, makes his own team, joins a league called Meta Rejects and then runs GOATs. Well, they haven't run GOATs yet, but you think, I feel like they could, if they were getting back to their, their go their core. Oh, stop, stop, yep, my bad. Hi, uh, scuffed host, scuffed host. Coming here on Rialto for the defense. But yeah, going back to a core might be really good for the team. Something that they know very well. But we'll see. Both teams are going to be coming out <coughs> shortly. Yeah, I'm really expecting GOATs from Mana Rejects. And I'm expecting a triple DPS from... What's it called? Sugar Rush here. I'm Sugar Rush, I'm having a brain fart. Like, every sentence. It is going to be exciting. I, if I was... If I had anything I could have, and if they were running triple DPS, imagine having Riley on that McCree or Reaper. That was very deadly for Meta Rejects in on this lineup. If they could fit it in any way, I think it would be something real. That would throw them off, or be very hard for them to deal with. But, looks like we are not going to be coming out on triple DPS. Looks like we're going to be coming out on the double sniper Orissa Hog defense. Or even for us. Wow, I am incredibly disappointed. We're gonna see Peter on the. It's gonna be the Hammond Monkey Sombra 
and Diva. So they're going to be going on a on a three two one comp with the Zen Mercy heals here and the somber DPS. This is definitely going to be an interesting chat that I feel like they've had to made they've had to craft. Somber looks like she's going to be a scout here, and they're coming out with a widow up here instead of the wrecking ball. So it's going to yeah. be a two two two. Ooh, uh, Peter is gonna go Ray for Bear on Waka Widow spot. here. And he's gonna give a kill, and it's we're gonna be Ray Bear one and one. And it is currently in favor. Ooh, if they are gonna get Bear is gonna be res. This is gonna be big for them. Kingdom yep. using Bull here. Seeing he's gonna take high ground up here. Yep. Get a little bit on the high ground. ground. Gonna create a little Fair, bit of pressure. Uh, Fair with no with that with that widow dual one there in the early. Fair has a little bit of room here. Let's see how she takes it. And Walken now does have LOS back onto the team fight. Ape does get. Oh no, out. Alea does get hooked pretty early on, and she's gonna lose and back. And the Gecko match. does go down. I think we're gonna see the swap off of Farah here. This is gonna be very hard for them to get through. This Orisa Hog without a Diva Mech to dive in is gonna be very, very difficult to get through. But yet again, we see Sugar Rush coming out with the double main healer. No support. No support. Maybe they know something we don't, but. Yeah, Meta Rejects they... looks like they have something that they can capitalize on, but again, a swap off, so Reaper's gonna have to get up. He's gotta do a lot of work right here to get his ult. Yeah, if they don't have a Lucio, we get really close to him. Oh, Quok's gonna get a big kill on a Peter and a Big Quok. Good job by Quok. They pop, uh, what's it called, um, Bongos, and Alea's gonna lose her mech again, and she will be staggered out, so this is looking really bad early on for Meta Rejects. With two minutes and twenty seconds here, you'd think we'd probably be seeing a swap off. They're going goats. It's, this? it's happening. If that's oh, a fantastic a counter. Thing, I do, I do like it. I think if they can eat this, this Orisa pull that's gonna come in and don't have to, don't take too much poke damage. Ivy watches out for the widow sites. I think they're gonna be able to take this. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah, is losing a shield pretty fast, and they will burn bubble early, but it's not really going to go. Cognitive so hit it should be. Fun. V cognitive pit. I, I always forget the and I'm very sorry. Yeah, they'll fight. V cognitive pit and Guac have been playing very good on this DPS, so it is gonna yeah. be hard for the whole hog to come out. X, big whole hog pushing them all the way back, getting Peter Peter's coming up on grab at high charge. Even purple does, though, big bubble, big bubble saving bubble kingdom right saving. there. And Alea does get a big eat onto that Hanzo all that is gigantic and a grass cutoff for Peter, and Peter's gonna get two. It is one right click. And Farron One is shot, two kills. Go Kingdom left. of Fraud, the man who came up with a name that rechecks is running goats. Well, I personally think that that's what they need to do to win here because. Oh, but we see this. We see the quick Farrick swap coming in here. We don't see the Mercy, however. So, Ivy Cat, if we're going to be able to duel, Ivy Cat and Layla are going to be on big Farrah duty here. And if they can somehow deny the Farrah the space while they take it in, I think this could still work because. Kingdom has an earth shatter. One missed play from Cedro, and it's gonna be really bad for them. Sure, Rush keeping this high ground above the stairs. Cedro dropping though. Ooh, he's Let's a little out of position by himself right now. More coming able to get to the goal. Time. They have to leave Cognitive Pit up there. Ooh, uh, Kingdom's just gonna take one for a team and just try and get Ryan away from a team. And the bomb is going to get Guag. This is still very wonderful for better rejects. And Cedro's gonna, gonna go down. Smash is gonna it's go down. Big. Big purple though. Let's see if anybody, but there's nobody really to swing on and capitalize with multi hits. So it looks like Meta Rejects will take this part. Yeah, fantastic job by uh, Meta Rejects. Running goats. They're doing it exceedingly well right now. If they have a great time, make but Ivy Cat does go down. But Peter Six G hits Gamzar is going to take out Walk. We'll see. We see Peter coming up on another grab. He's building those grabs incredibly He's going to be able to swing on this grab and probably catch up to Cedral in, in alt charges coming up. Yeah, so and we'll he landed a pretty big this. fire strike. Got a, got a probably a good 10%. Oh, oh he's getting already halfway to his shatter. Dragon's going to come out for kind of the cognitive hit. Grab's going to come out and walk the guy before he can even Kingdom do anything. Kingdom runs into the fair as the fair ults. So she kills herself with it. And this is looking very good for meta rejects. Two support ults online, a shatter and a rally. And if you look at the all charge, Kingdom actually surpassed Zedril in that fight in all charge. And you know what you don't see? 
You don't see a support ult coming out from the right side of Sugar Rush here. And they a big it. shatter! And it's all, it's looking like it's all Shiro here. here. With a big purple from, yeah, purple from cross oh, Another a nano coming in, can they do it? Oh, but double, they have to win it here. They don't want to stack support ults there and lose it, but no, it looks like it's going to be an easy cap for them. Around three minutes left in a time bank here. This is and what I like to see. This is what I like to see. Going back to the roots, just getting the goats in, getting a good map in. That's that's really good for meta rejects here. With three minutes left to cap, that's got to be a big win for their mental state. Yeah, this is a great start for a reverse sweep here. Reverse sweep. Well, I'm not trying to be biased, but a reverse sweep would would be very interesting. I'm wondering when we're gonna see. The, I guess we didn't see the big DPS holds wiping them too much there, but the grabs were really hurting beside a sugar rush with no Zen or no Lucio to get out of them. It's almost it's almost a guaranteed kill, but we'll see how it's gonna work here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna see the goat's defense here, but this may now prompt Sugar Rush to go to their padded in and take also, top over and see a pirate ship. Ooh. Also, for that last point, if we if we were seeing the fair, I would have merged them in so they could have just all out committed to it. Because I think the fair would have done a lot of damage. It's an unfortunate result, of course. Yeah, and this is going to be really hard for kind of rejects to do much against this pirate ship. They got to prevent this special from even getting on a card to begin with, and they are not playing close enough to do that. We'll see if Abe goes for a cheeky little wall ride, but doesn't look like he's gonna risk it that'd be a risk but we'll see hopefully a big fire strike for 30 charge and we'll see how they engage on this bastion as it turns the corner or if they give it even two corners on the second i think you play a smart here you back it up once you realize they're running with a pirate ship and you just try sugar just rush with the unique with the unique check over to the right that is very interesting. They here. left the Bastion in spawn and go to check the right, but then they get on spawn and get on point. The Bastion's now on Looks Macar, like but... Ooh, a big hook on the Kingdom there. Ooh, Specs does go down. The Kingdom does go down, and the Bastion is his court. He's the Bastion. Like, oh, if they oh, can get a res here, oh, Mercy gets oh. the res. They can't, they can't capitalize there. But it looks know. like we're gonna kill the Bastion again anyway. They should be able to, yes. And, and hopefully they can get scared a... Walrus. No, oh, they are. Oh, it's Walrus a... gets out. It's Sacred Walrus. Sorry, I was right. Yeah, Peter has a gravel already. He is insane. If there was a overall tranquility, uh, fantasy team, uh, fantasy MS, I would definitely have him on that. Like, oh, he's building all so Somebody fast. to look at for a good pickup. We'll see how he uses his graph here. Lucio, Lucio swap here. He's at 60 though, so we'll see My if we can get a grab off. Let's do this. Before he can build it, before he get, they get grab. They're gonna come around the right here. Walk onto the Farah here. And Brawl's just gonna begin. High Noon's gonna come out from V Kong. Oh. Gonna He's gonna get Ivy. Big flank gonna High Noon. I didn't even see how we got around that. He just, just gonna. I think he's just trying to reset the walls here. Oh, yeah. They didn't move the point at all. That's the one part that in that fight, that in the end of the day, Meta Rejects is going to have a very, very strong uh, retake on this point. But we'll yeah, see Farah. Farah probably is going to look for a barrage above them. Let's see That's a big kill here. We'll see. It's going to be up to Alea to land a big DM and just try and shut it down. And it's going to be very hard for him to do much. Kingdom's just going to go. Go there. He's going to try and make something happen. Cedro is getting close to it all, but uh, it looks like he's going to lose shield and Kingdom will go down. Cedro now has a shatter, there's nothing to stop it. And this is looking very bad for Meta Rejects. Aria has no friendly and a big shatter there. Uh, high yeah, noon. And high noon from Vkong to a pit does find anything. anything. Spex does get a kill on to a Looks like they will still be up. The Sparrow is doing a lot of damage to them. We'll see if, if Meta Rejects is going to stay with the goats here. Ooh, Peter! Peter does get a big 2k and that can allow them to get in there and recontest and win him. He's going to throw a grab in here as well. Kingdom's gonna get his ult off of it, and it's looking like Meta Rejects is gonna take it here. Citra will go down here. Looks like they will not see nine McCart. And Meta Rejects with a good spot to hold this point here. First point with only a minute ten seconds left for Sugar Rush coming up. Sugar Rush coming up on two big ults though. Look at Guac. He's already halfway to another barrage, and 
I got five dollars that Ivy custes this alt and uses it before fight. Okay. Don't hold me, don't hold me to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I wanted that five dollars, five dollars. Uh -huh. <laughs> not gonna say that. Oh, big shatter does come out from Cedro. Shatter, another counter shatter, I believe, is gonna come out from Kingdom. I don't think it's gonna get much. Me cognitive hit's gonna go down. Watch gonna get a grab there to stop Peter the barrel, six, but they do gonna get the grab out. here. Yeah, but it's a big grab. I don't think it's swing and how he has ult here. He's gonna look find the shatter here if he can. It's gonna be off the kingdom to land a big block. Bob's gonna come out and get anything and we'll get backs in. Looks like Sugar Rush is gonna Looks like Sugar Rush could be in danger of losing this right now. Cedro still holding onto that shatter. He's just looking to try and find an opportunity here. And he's gonna find his opportunity. He's gonna take down. Big boot there to try to stall him from getting Lucio. And it looks like alive there. Kingdom's gonna be able to make it back in time and he may be able to build a shatter. Tires See this jump right tire. Ooh, a big oh, jump right tire. Maybe able to discover first point. Me cognitive pick. Great job with a 3k. And a big follow-up there on Kingdom. It was a good tire, but I, I think it could have been better. Well, and the actually, duo there on Brigitte and Zarya there. That's that's what you need. The high charge Zarya, the Super Saiyan God himself, was causing a lot of damage for them there. Building grabs very fast. They needed him gone. Yeah, he should we'll be able see. to build. Yeah, we'll see if he can if he's gonna build the charge off off that junk rat or if the junk rat the tires are gonna keep coming in. Yeah, I think the only way that tire from V Cognitive Pit gets any better if he kills Dimitri with it. So But I don't think that's gonna be happening anytime soon. Look a little spread here, Gecko might be looking to take the 1v1 on the junk rat, but it's gonna be hard for him to Yeah, stuff gonna be very oh, hard. Looking for the flank here, looking for the big flank. Yoink! And he gets him out of there. Out of boy, Gecko. And for the Gecko may go down to Ophara. Oh no, he goes down to Secret Walrus. Kingdom does have a shatter. He's Kingdom gonna drop it. Kingdom with a big shatter. Okay. There though, and looking for the background. Kingdom does kill Ivy Cat, and that's, that's about it. And it's looking like this is gonna be Meta Retrax fight for now. Can they get Peter, Peter out of here alive? <gasps> wow, at 50 HP or 100 HP, they're getting out. Wow. With Grav. And Meta Rejects still looking like a still looking strong to hold this with Diva Bomb, Grav, and both support alts here. We'll see what the you know, Sugar Rush can make happen. I think you just grab here and you just let Kingdom get his all back. A big Lucio ult there to save them. Oh, a big shatter oh, there. Ivy Cat coming and saving the team. Be coming to the pits nice. now on the back line, which can cause some serious damage if left on Check Grav. going to come out. Be coming to the Grav. And it's going to be big. It's too shaky. That's too many ults coming in there. It's too much stuff. They cannot block any of that, especially with both supports ults being used earlier in the fight. I don't think we're gonna be able to get back. See, they're pushing really far up. They are even gonna let them get out of. Absolutely not. They they can't risk letting them come back here. Oh, they are gonna get 30 a seconds. This is it. A big shatter here. Can he find the Lucio? Oh, the Lucio somehow stays alive here. Gets the ball. And this is all Sugar Rush. Coming up on a big shatter here. He's gonna have nothing to block it here. It's coming in right here. It's big gonna be big triple. 3k. Big cap here. It's still good with 137 left. With 137 left, Meta Rejects is gonna get the better time, but you know they're looking for the win here. And that's a big pick on Seedrill to stop their push. They're gonna be able to recontest with Diva Bomb and Grav here. We'll see. It's like 20 seconds off. Maybe like 20, 20 seconds off the clock here. Depending on how fast it takes them to get back, so yeah, that's a good chunk of time burned right there. And the cognitive pit is going to be coming up on another junk rat tire here, though. See if he can do a lot of damage. Like here. And fair won't be as good once we get inside. And a big wrap will be up from Peter Six G. And Kingdom's going to get his Earth Shatter. Is he going to stay alive long enough to get a chance to use it? Yes, he will. And Dex it's looking for a little thing. The cognitive pit going up for a tire. Gecko does go down. Go to the right. Oh, and it's it, broken. Where's the tire go? Don't know how it got broken Maybe there. Hit, detonated a little bit early. Right. Oh, big the block there. Shattered. This is looking really bad for Meta Retrax. They don't got too many ults to work with except for a grab and walk's gonna slow the wall. Abe, it looks like. I think that underneath is gonna probably try to contest this last second from behind. We'll see. Oh, she she has to move now. I don't think she's good. She does need to move now. She needs to trans. She will be able to touch. She's gonna have to stall. 
They're gonna be able to get back on the point here. Gonna be able to make a mirror of a grab. We're gonna need a miracle here for them to not take the point. Peter's gonna throw up a grab, but they're gonna get about a minute to push compared to when the rejects three minutes. It's always good seeing goats versus the double projectile. You know, I don't know if I'd because they have to have so they have to have a lot of healing there with the Lucio and Moira there to keep them up. So they can't run the Mercy with the Fair to get her a little bit more damage just so they can charge those ults really fast but the decognitive pit is really getting these tires and these tires are being a big nuisance causing a lot of attention of meta rejects yeah and i really hope we see a triple tps comp here goats is really boring to watch but it and is I, really I... boring to watch but it is very good at winning as you Ready. time bank goats is a very solid even if the counter goats comps does do come out with a little bit of more damage and this is weird, I'm not sure if they have a right, I'm not sure what the decision why they're not going for it is, I'm not sure if they have a, they have a right person now, and I'm not really sure, very curious to you know what's going in on their comms, but I am a Patriots fan, so make plenty of jokes about that. Alright, so your um, opinions are invalid. Okay, next. We yep. see Sugar Rush bringing out both the support ult and the mercy here. I think they want to let their fair do as much damage as they can and build up ults to, de to defeat this goat's comp. 100% agree. Just build ults. That's the game plan. With only a minute left, we'll see how Meta Rejects takes this fight and how they want to win this. It's going to be up to the Cognitive Pit to build a tire very fast and walk to get this barrage. We walk already at a fourth of, this, a fourth of the way. And if they can't do that... They won't be able to win, and it's goats can win very well without ults because it's very it's a very strong comp. And let's see how this goes Diva here. Diva has a really hard job having to push the fire strike, spare, and junkrat. Junkrat looking for an angle here. Ooh, because it pits on a flank, he will not get guard position. Gets a little low. Kingdom 73 to an all and block 77. This is looking very bad for Meta Rejax 83. It's I Walking think we'll have it all. if they can keep their diva up here and they're both their supports, 12 seconds left on the clock. Oh, Peter already has grab. Yeah, gonna have grab. Oh, he's gonna Lucio's, go for it. Oh, Lucio's gonna have feet here. Oh, but Peter with a huge pick on the Lucio, so Lucio can't get his ult there. And it, this I is think looking like Meta Reach X is fight right but now. Not, Mercy Diva coming with a res. Lucio. Well, nope, that's a resonant. That's a resonant Pharah. Out comes the tire. The Cognitive Pit needs a hero play right now, and it will only get Gecko. I'm not sure if it will Big be enough. Big pick on the Brigitte. Kingdom is alive. There's no shield left. The block is shattered. Pharah looking for a flank on Ivy Cat. Ooh, Kingdom Wiss ends up moving a shatter. Beats gonna come out from Sugar Rush. And they don't have anything else. Grab's gonna come out, and it looks they like they want to get the big kill up, But it's Peter for that high charge. Can't kill that man. And a grab. He's gonna a grab. This gigantic bomb's gonna come out. I think it's gonna whiff. It will. It's but okay though. Gonna get a and she can get back into bomb. That's a big get back into suit. I think I will be almost back, and she will have transcendence here. This is They're gonna very need to good. Here. Lucio and Ryan are coming back very fast very as very well. Diva can, Diva's trying to get out, so she can get back into him. Well. Doesn't. Down. This is Ryan, very if you want to chatter, can't. It's They're both looking to build like here. Rush is gonna take first point, but Peter is getting very close to another grab. Ooh, Peter's just gonna kill a lot of V-Cog in the pit. Peter, this 84 point. on another grab, 93, 94. Peter's like gonna need another here. big grab. Another grab on both, the, both tanks here. Two more both tanks should go down here. No, Cedro and Specs live to fight another day. Specs, Specs also high charge. Plus, Cedro will go down and Ooh, C9. And they get pushed the off the point. That was very good hold there. And it's, you can just see how hard it is to kill these big beefy tanks when they get the heals. Good job on the D.Va for mitigating which damage she's going to make let hit her team. And now 3 minutes and 44 seconds for Meta Rejects to push it almost all the way to point A. Do you think they can do it? I think they can. It's interesting, yes. This, this double DPS, this double spam comp. I was wondering though... Switch to the soldier there. I almost maybe would have liked to see the fair to see if they could really get that ending kill damage. But if they had to get back in time, the soldier was the best pick. Yeah, and we're going to see a hog come out here, a Ryan hog here. Oh, uh, they are going to be sticking with V Cognitive Pit on Junkrat and Guacamathera. And this is looking like I, I, I think their idea here is they really want to hold. At a 
corner and even at the last corner because they just want to be able to get a hoggle and boop them off. But three minutes and 44 seconds is not the same as a minute. It's going to be hard and this hog is going to feed a lot of volt charge to Peter. He's already be getting alts at the snap of your finger. So it's going to be big to see. We're going to see if Guac and the Cognitive Pit can stop Peter before he gets his ults. And I also think it's going to be up to Meta Retrax to realize this Reinhardt does not have any protection. If they can get onto him and get him low, he is most likely dead. Fair, looking for Ooh, a Oh, Cognitive here. Pit is that goes down to 1 HP. He he will survive somehow. I don't know what did that much damage. He's Ghost Comp in here, going strong. Ryan does not have a Zarya buff on the side of Sugar Rush, but he does have the Lucio to help get him out. Still already cut down to half here. Ooh, Guac is 81% to his... Oh, this is looking very bad. 93, and he has it, and he will take down Gecko. But Kingdom 32, Peter's 51. This is looking... It's, it's back and forth. It's back and forth. We're going to see who makes the first mistake here. And what ults come out when? Big Ooh, hook Kingdom there. Kingdom does get hooked, but will Kingdom but be able to survive? Ooh, his they shoot can't kill him. Oh, he's one. Let's see if there's one. That's one junk right NATO, but they can't get him before he gets they sealed can't up. Get him. They can't a get lot him of healing he's... coming out here. It's hard to run this Lucio Zen comp into this poke damage. Ooh, cognitive hit. The cognitive pick gets a big kill onto him here. That's going to send him packing. King is going to lose his shield, and he, I think he's going to lose his life as well. He gets and booped up to the high ground somehow. And I decided to get out. Six souls for Sugar Rush. This is very bad for Meta. Sugar Rush can dictate exactly when and how they want to take this fight. It's going to be very hard. They have two minutes and 20 seconds. You might like to see a dry push maybe even here. Try to get some ults out of here on the side of, especially the Lucio out. Maybe the Lucio out and the Hog ult out. But Cognitive Pit with a big well, tire coming from behind. For Who's he looking for? Peter SG with a big bubble. He goes in too early. Rush only gets... Doesn't get anything. Ryan Cedro with a free shatter here. Oh, but it looks like he's charged. Oh, he almost charges off the map here. Let's see if Ivy can get it. Peter still has that grab. He's got to look for his opportunity. He's going to be very precise about it. I can tell. He's really taking his time with it. These and fights it sounds... are going very slowly, turning multiple fights, Ooh, like one fight or two oh, fights almost oh, left. A big Lucio ult going to come out. Ooh, out gets comes Grab. going for it. From the high ground. Ooh, tries for the 180. Coming out. Ooh, Big boop. We'll see how this is going, but Meta Rejects looks very good. That was a very good fight for Meta Rejects. Five ults coming out of the side of Sugar Rush coming ult out. Ivy Cat has her ult and Gecko. So it's Wait, looking dude, very strong for Meta Rejects. We'll see how we'll see how Sugar Rush wants to recontest this. Guac trying to get a, a fair trying to get as much damage as he can in here. Get a fair barrage to come in to glass that can contest this. Trying Looks to get like he's gonna boot backside. Out. And they don't even get on the point. They don't Wait. get a contest. Wow. Meta Rejects coming in with some classic goats against this double double spam projectile. You maybe would have loved to see the Mercy come out on the side of Sugar Rush earlier in the Lucio. Just so they could stay alive and do a little bit more for their, their comp. But classic goats, it's too strong, ladies and gentlemen. It's too strong. But no, we'll see some more later. Some more anti uh... Oh, uh, that was a interesting play of the game. Uh, very interesting. And, um, uh, oh, uh, yeah, game, game still alive. Still alive. 2 1 here. Oh, uh, what is the last map? What map, map are we going to be going to here? There's one left in a map pool, and I'm going to go have to go take a look at the map pool. And I believe it will be Li Zhang Tower. Oh, wait, no. I map wonder right? what's if any subs we're oh. going to get back. We'll see. Um, I actually don't know the last map. Oh, it is Li Zhang. You have to love seeing Meta Rejects going to something that they're very comfortable with. Peter's Super Saiyan God is coming out. He's coming for out strong for them. These grabs are being built in the blink of an eye. And he is doing a lot of damage for them, staying at 90% charge, it looks like. Yeah, we will be seeing Ivy Cat moving out, which is a little bit odd. I thought she was doing a good job, at least on the Zenyatta, so. Ivy Cat was playing very well today. Also, Beastman, before for the one game he was in today. So, their their support line looks very strong. Oh, it's Busan. Uh, Kingdom is telling me it's Busan. Are we...
My leaf is sacred. Oh. I am being special. All right. And I will go to quickly swap to Busan. And we will be heading over to Korea for the final. I like it. Busan, such a versatile map. A lot of different opportunities to run a lot of different It's going to be exciting to see who's coming in. Who's playing. That, and I, I... Please, respects. I'm really hoping for this comp here. And I... You can, am... you can see what it's coming up from these swaps. These subs coming in late is coming. They might be... Oh yeah, we are having a little bit of technical difficulties on uh, Castus, and it should it should resolve itself. We are on it. Uh, we are getting a ready call from Kingdom, and it's now up to Sugar Rush for them to say ready. I believe I've got all their subs. By the looks of the camps, the looks like we're going to be seeing another yeah. again. Okay, and we are, are ready we to back? go. And we're back. I'm excited to see. It looks like Sugar Rush might be coming in with a triple DBS. It's all we can hope for. Subbing in Lays. Initiating match. And I was spamming as fast as I can. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I think we're gonna see it. I know we've said it for the last two maps, but I think we're going to see it. See if we get anybody booped into the train over here on the side. But coming into downtown here, it's going to be a good map for for Widow, maybe. It's going to be a good yeah, map for May. We're going to see a lot of strong picks for, for people. Ball. Come on, do it! They did it! Yes, we will be getting the... Oh, this is gonna be quad Sugar DPS. Rush. Breaking out the quad DPS, solely healing mercy, with a Doomfist, Tracer, Widow, and Fair. I, you love to see it. I think that looks like a very fun comp to run. Yeah, this is gonna be very oh. interesting. But then you look on the side of Meta Rejects, and they might be memeing with the Torb right now. Yes, they are, unfortunately. But if they're gonna be running Dotes, I believe, for Terminus. Dotes with a Wrecking Ball. Winston. You might like to see Peter on his Zarya here because Zarya is getting a lot of charge, but we'll see how his Wrecking Ball and Winston work together. Yeah, Fair. very, Scouts. very curious how we're going to be able to deal with it. Cedro is going to be focused down a little bit, but he will be able to get out. Doofus just going to go in, they're just going to go try and cause some chaos. It's a real good job of this comp if they do it well. Uh, there are some people getting really low and Cognitive Pit, the Cognitive Pit will take pick down on the Mora there. That's going to be a and lot please. of their healing and it leads to the rest of the team getting melted. And I think we're going to see a swap here from Meta Rejects. I think we're going to have to. I think we're going to have to put... You're going to have to put Peter on a Widow duel here because... The, the, the raw DPS damage coming in here from Sugar Rush is just insane. Ooh, Peter 6G will get away with a kill on their Widow with his life if they're gonna stick on this comp. They're committed to it and it's respectable. Let's see if they can take care of the Widow up here in high ground. Ooh, Peter 6G is getting really low. Kingdom's going in to harass along with Leia. Their Cognitive Pit's gonna go down and I don't think we're gonna be able to get a red. Rosh is gonna come in from Gecko and Leia will be able to come in and clean it up right at the end. And Big clean by Gecko also on that Feral. Oh, the Feral is looks rezzed. Kingdom looks like she's gonna get. He's gonna get on the Feral, but he can't really. He can't do much. Yeah, this this is a... asked by Tracer and Doomfist is a lot. Ooh, and double minefields coming out, taking each other out. This is looking like it's gonna be in the favor of Meta Rejects here, as you go move into cleanup mode. And Feral's flying really low, and I, they won't be able to punish it. This fight is all Feral out. finding. Gecko's hit after hit after hit at 60% to another barrage and a big kill on Gecko there. And it actually looks like Sugar Rush are gonna pull this fight out. Yeah, I now think it's time for Meta Rejects to swap. It's not working. This quad DPS strat coming out from Sugar Rush is putting so many different things at them. The comms must be so hectic for Meta Reject right now. 
Yeah, I can only imagine we will be seeing Peter go onto the Widow to try and go duel. V, what an only cognitive pit. It's gonna be hard here. The cognitive pit already at 94 percent to the sites. This is last fight. Kingdom's gonna go into touch because he has primal. He can afford it. Would it goes down and be cooking the pits gets a big kill on to Peter and it's looking like it's going to be Sugar Rush taking map one of Busan. And uh, I don't think we're really trying to stall on the point here. Can do. Kingdom goes down. Alea goes down. Pause. Pause. Bro, pause. Pause. Oh, no. oh yeah. Control. Yep. Got it. Got it. And that is quite unfortunate. Still think Sugar Rush is going to be cleaning up this point here, and we're going to be going into map two. And if you take a look down at the point, it looks like Abe himself... About to get crushed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, top 10 photos taken right before a disaster. Ooh, we also see, if I am correct, we see Sifa Killa going for this 1v1 on the Widow. It's going to be, see if she can whip it out. And if they do, that will be very meme -y and I will love it. And I don't think going, in, going into map two, we don't know what map two is yet. But and assuming Sugar Rush does take this map, what would you want to see from Meta Rejects here? Um, anything besides this comp, really. I think you maybe even try running a big DPS heavy comp of yourself. But I know it's a lot to ask of people to do right on the spot, but I think that's what you're gonna have to do. That will be a, a big task. Well, depending on what, whether it be Mecha Base or Sanctuary, we'll see what they run. But I might I might try to go back to GOATS even, but it will be hard going into all these these counter GOATS picks. Yeah, yeah. Dive GOATS. Dive goats, GOATS could be good. Work. Letting Monkey just try to go free. Yeah, but... You know, if they are going to reverse sweep, they are first going to have to reverse sweep Busan from Sugar Rush. If I'm Meta Rejects here, I'd be looking to get to do one map three for me. I'd be looking to get Grav after Grav. So I think a Dive Goats with Peter on Azaria would be pretty strong for them. But this map, this map in particular, downtown, there's so many angles you can attack from. So and hard, especially when the attacking team, the quad DPS, gets the first cap. And maybe what you do is you run... You get Peter up, I'm sorry you go, get a Ryan, sorry you come, go in and you maybe throw in a May as well. Just try and really neutralize the ham and then go very CC heavy. Definitely that, or we could do your favorite and run a Sombra. <laughs> or, or, or we could run the Spanish Inquisition. Just saying. If they were the Spanish Inquisition right here. And, and to win. win. A power move of the century. And that would put them at the number one in my power right now. You heard it here first. If they run Spanish Inquisition, if any team runs Spanish Inquisition and wins the map, they're number one. They're the number one team in the league, hands down, hands down. Not you like after map. You love to see Pug Strats coming into the league. Yeah, Pug Strats are the best Strats, like the Cryptic Torp and the Mighty Bear Genji. You love okay. to see them. Okay, that was the, the Mighty Bear Genji actually used to be a thing for uh, my team. So, oh, so did I, the player tracer. You do not want to see the dark days. <laughs> oh, the player tracer. Hey, I think I had a 4K with Genji. I I'm going to ignore the fact that I was nanoed, but I had a 4K. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> you don't see any Genjis here or Anas here in this map. Maybe you. It's so hard to see what you want to run against this quad DPS unless you can get a... I think the biggest thing doing against a quad DPS strat is getting control of the point first. Because if you can get control and then try to stack, uh, to trickle on or get a very good... Get position, uh, position aggressively so you can stop their engages. I think that's probably what you're going to have to do here. Otherwise, it's just going to be too hard to take back. There's just too many damage, too many things that can one tap you or two tap the people that are needed in this ghost comp. I can I hundred percent agree with that. Yeah, but uh, I really want to know what's going on with Lays right now and when he will be back. Minor technical difficulties. Minor. I think they said he had a 
Uh, we're out itch, and uh, I'm not sure if a new rule would apply here. I believe it would, but we'll we'll have to pause and s let somebody from the league make a ruling on that. Yeah, so that will be very interesting to watch. How about that weather? I like yeah. The gecko. Uh, it's cold, it's, it's winter, and you know, it's just how it is. And I'm going to go ask for any updates. Abe, I concur. The beeping is driving me crazy yeah, as well. Really <laughs> Stream, you lucky, lucky, lucky yeah. people. Okay, yep, we're going to exhaust uh, all of our, ti our timeouts and then move on with the match. So it looks like, so we'll say, I think it looks like they're going to be starting and then going man down. Playing I, a man down? That if, well, be... if they're moving on with the match, or, or moving on with the match, or are they moving, does that mean they're... Oh, this is very interesting. <laughs> We'll get word word shortly. Our jobs yeah. aren't to worry about this. We'll let the peons do that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Subi. We love you. <laughs> Shout oh. out to the real MVP <laughs> keeping us on track and helping us and with things. As we, we are waiting here to see what's going on. Now, chat, you can hear me. Uh, this is definitely a little bit of a scuffed case here. Apparently, one of their players is uh, had a power DC, so we are currently on the wait for either of them to come back, or they will have to resume the game shorthanded. Shout out to Last Night's Leftovers, the contenders team, who had to do that in an actual contenders match. That is a thing. Well, no, yeah, hard that's... no hard Lucio bots for them. That's... Oh, oh yeah, I, I, um, I... Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, that where the uh, was that where Nalir came from? The Atlanta that player? is the team that Nalir came from, and also that uh, Brad, Selfless's coach, also had helped or happened to have uh, to coached at that time after he got kicked from San Francisco. A good story. I like I like leftovers working without an org. Yeah, uh, well, you know what, while we talk, uh, while we wait, let's talk about um, Overwatch League, and apparently I just, I opened up a stream trying to get those uh, credits, apparently Dallas has taken one map over Seoul Dynasty. Oh, you love to see it. No, no, uh, no. As a, Dallas, no. <laughs> as, a, as a Dallas fan, no. you love to see them doing well. It's Control, you know what, that's the map that uh, Dynasty dropped anyways to... Um... Gladiators and look what happened there. So that's all I gotta say there. Don't worry, Fisher will be calling. Yeah, and I were really hoping Dallas Fuel will upset him because I will have so much fun laughing at Soul Dynasty fans. This is why people hate me, isn't it? No, that and your version. Fair point. <laughs> Soul Dynasty fans, you know, I heard there's some great people. They're very mean. Unlike us Dallas fans. Us Dallas fans, we just you're accept a DC losses. Fan. I'm a DC, <laughs> DC fan. But, you know, both of my teams are not the shining stars of the league. But hey, one day we will be. Fusion's got off to a great start. Fusion's and Boston, a very surprising start to this league. But very good. You, But you do wonder how long this success is going to last because in my mind, I think fusions is a very, very good, very talented shot calling Reinhardt. However, when the meta, if the meta ever does switch to monkey, we'll see how he adapts. I He's looked decent on monkey. I have him on fantasy and I'm thinking about dealing him. So if you're in my fantasy league and watching, hit me up. Uh, yeah. And now well, I let's think just talk we'll... about the league here. So, uh, and Definitely we will be unpausing. We'll be unpausing. Give it one second. Yes. Oh. One second.
Sorry, but I need to check. Ich bin da. Uh, we are back into the game, and Peter will be able to touch just people to get anything, this something going. Can Brigitte get there before the time ticks out? No. Brigitte cannot touch, and this could be it's game changing for Meta Rejects, but they will be able to, maybe able to take a map. Score. Yeah, we're gonna see. It is. It is gonna be. 1-0 Sugar Rush, but it is going to be hard for Sugar Rush to play one man down. Unfortunately, for, unfortunate that the weather got to him. Yeah, and that is very unfortunate. Well, we'll still see a triple DPS comp, comp coming out from them, but it is going to be a lot more success, successful, susceptible to dive. However, you will, we will see Meta Reject is going with a class of goats. It's going to be very interesting to see if they can deal with this, this triple DPS strat. And if Sugar Rush, if they win this, down a man, they may catapult themselves to one of the best teams of the league, like number two or not, even number one at that point. They are going to look very scary. We're going to want to see Meta Rejects here coming down, melting a target, but they are, it's, they're just not going to be a, a target to find for Meta Rejects. Like, where are they going to go? Who are they going to melt here? Everybody has an escape for this team. Wrecking Ball. A down goes the yeah. Yes, they yeah. are. They Man are. Down. I think six seconds. They are still even. This is still a very winnable fight for Meta Rejects, and they will get one. And I think we're about to get two. They will. And this is where you can see the man advantage start to come in here. Yeah, it's gonna. It's gonna be so hard for Sugar Rush to take it to take them down here. And Guac will go down and with I that first cap here. Barring a 6k, it's going to be hard because Meta Rejects is going to have the ability to just trickle onto this point and be so hard to kill. But we'll see. Guac coming up on a coming up on a big fair barrage here. We're going to see if he can get use out of it. Ski for killer also with a big vow coming up. Yeah, now one kill from an ultimate becomes incredibly more valuable than it would in a, in a 6v6. You'd love to see Meta Rejects try to take a little tighter of an angle where they can control where the damage is coming from them. But on the Kappa. point, they just want to keep going. Ooh, Pharaoh! Ooh, and a big rush. If they actually just turn the complete tide of his fight, Waka actually gets a big kill and appear. 6G and Bomb's gonna come out and this. Very important for them to keep the diva up here. Diva is gonna be very important. Has double or has one healer there with a the Mora. We'll see and if they can say This actually could be winnable by Sugar Rush, and it looks like they're actually gonna take a fight, even though they are down a player and Kingdom will be coming back and he will be getting in close to that Earthshatter. It's gonna will be, be getting... so hard to take them man Ooh, down. That does go down and grab, the getting a mercy here. I know it's the solo kill, but that one kill getting their healing out. That makes turns this fight to a very winnable fight. Hope damage will win this for them. Yeah, and this just goes to show you how bad it is to be down a man right now. It is going to be very hard. You do think that this probably is the best strat for them to go with, especially against yeah. this comp, though. Yeah, this is this is incredibly hard for them to deal with right now. That first take, how better rejects decided to just to play point there instead of up high ground it's very smart for them because if they did not take first i think this would have been a very different situation yeah Ooh, we could even Ooh, almost finds the more there makes Ooh, it and down goes walking and look i'm assuming we'll be able to get a res out shatter will be coming out and does get two and it's looking like meta rejects will walk not going to get his fair barrage out coming up yeah it's where it looks like we're going to go to sanctuary here and i don't think we're going to be able to, i don't think sugar rush is going to be able to do anything for a, a until Laze gets back or until next map at this point. Yeah, you can't. We gotta hope that it doesn't get them either team there a little too tilted because they can still come back next map with a very strong win. But this map looks almost near over. But that being said, I do think that Sugar Rush's triple DPS was causing their regular goats a lot of problems. And if they can still do that and let Guac get a lot of poke damage taking out the Brigitte and maybe even getting a Mortar Fade out. It is going to be very big for them. And this map, I think, is a little bit stronger. It's less high ground, but it is it's wider. Uh, I'm not sure if he's come back online. Pause, pause. Uh, oh, yep. Pause. He will be pause, in. Pause, oh. pause, pause, pause. Yeah, he's in. Yep. He's in. No need for a pause here. Okay. Yeah, this is probably now a good time to get off goats because they will now have a full team comp. A full quad DPS here. And they won't be able to handle that. 
Because now if we go down a man, now if, he, if we lose Maze is going to be coming in here on Tracer. He will be a little bit late. It looks like Meta Reject is going to need to get the cap here first cap and hopefully it goes Ooh, very clean. Cedral does damage. get in there a little bit, cause a little bit of chaos. Doomfist is going around, messing behind. Just causing a bunch of shenanigans. Better rejects should be able to get it. Ooh, if it gets Riley bad and VCOG gets fit, but Gecko does lose his mech. But it's this gonna is be a great start vital for here for meta rejects to play a clean ghost. Play and Tom goes C Khalifa or Sith Khalifa. Ryan here, Sith Ryan Killa. Kingdom. I can't Ooh, speak. Just gets out with the charge. Barely alive, and I don't think he's gonna stay alive at him. Cedro trying to go for that scoop and poop there. Almost hits one. Scoop and poop, that's a new one. Scoop and poop, how you get the most damage out is Hammond. It's lovely to see. Hammond play, you know, you, I'm, I'm excited to see a league full of Hammonds. Change the main tank game up. We see yeah, Tracer trying to go on a flank all the way around right. Getting a pick on a Moyer would be huge here. Or a Lucio, so they, couldn't be, they can't speed around. They need to find something here, or the time is just going to tick up and up for them. Gonna make it harder and harder for yeah. them to win this map. 40%. Oh, Cedro. Uh, he, he Fair should... looking for a big brush here. And it doesn't get anything. And Man, very quick reaction. Gecko is able to shut it down. Coalescent's gonna come out from Alea here. Fair, it's not gonna do too much, but it's gonna keep everyone alive. Abe will go. But both down. two supports down. Lays. who Riley. Riley bad with there. And now I think you just die on point. You get as much all percentage as you can get. Oh, fuck yeah, spread it. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was uh, that was the first time for me on a call. Uh, that was just like I. Oh my god! I want you to do me. I will never forget that time with Cav. I tried to bring. Yeah. That, that was All interesting. Right, we see Meta Rejects come in here with goats. They do have a Lucio alt here, Rav and Diva Bomb. We'll see if we can get the fair out of this guy with that. Widow Ooh, setting up here for Sugar Rush. Ooh, oh, Meta Rejects is a little bit split. Big, big a pit gets a big cognitive pit. And Peter's already in, and along with Kingdom, they have to go oh, in, try and get out and down. Lucio uses the beat here, so they are going to want to take this fight. But with Abe going down Ooh, too, Beastman it's going to be very hard. And Gecko just get a kill on the Sifa killer. This is actually now looking winnable for Meta Rejects. Cognitive Pit, though, picking apart the team. They're going to need to go some way to deal with him. I think you start popping ults and start swapping here. Ooh, they do get yeah. a big barrage out. But I don't think that's going to matter. It's GOATS. You're going to... That ult's going to be built up incredibly fast. Like said before, it's going to be very important for Meta Rejects here to play a very tight GOATS comp and get on targets together because if they keep getting spread out, this quad DPS strat wrecking ball is just gonna tear them apart. Sight's coming in. So the widow knows that they're she's gonna get killed. Ooh, the big pulse bomb does get a kill on the Aven, I think. From there from Lays. This is I think the call to back out. Cedro's gonna go in. He's gonna pop mines, but we're gonna have best coalesces into this fight. It Looks like be... they're trying to win it here, but this might be one of the last fights in the game here. We'll and see I... what's gonna happen. Peter, he's holding on to his gravity. This is looking like a great situation to pop it. If I were him, I'm going for it here. But down he goes. He doesn't get a chance to do it. It's now last fight territory. Last fight territory. And there they're, looks like they might not even get a good touch here. Gecko out of the mech here. I Kingdom think someone's going to have to throw their lives for it. Kingdom gets shot out of his ult. Someone may have to give his life. It looks like Kingdom will pay his life to touch. And down goes Beastman by VCOG. Did a pit bomb. Gecko tries to throw a bomb. Gets get the Pharah. Peter Six Cheat does get a big kill on the lace. This is still Mercy very winnable. Well, they do get a res. This is very Walk. bad. Get the salt oh, and down goes Peter. If Quad gets his all, it's all over here. Does anyone get too much? Yes, they will. But for how long is the real question? Kingdom's coming back out on him, and he's just going to go try and kill his life from a point, but it's not going to matter. It's looking he's like Sugar Rush. Guac clearing out the point here. If the Barrage gets nothing, it's somehow still going. The fight is still going on. And, and they flip the flip. point. Wow. Meta this... rejects with the king with kingdom with the wrecking ball just pooping everybody around. And they, they can hold it here. They need some shut kills. Down. This Ooh, actually buys them a decent amount of time to maybe get a little bit of a regroup going. You have coalescence going. This is somehow still winnable for meta rejects. They wrecking are still ball got in this though by mercy for sugar rush. So it's going to be hard. They need to. Yes. Oh, it's coming out of Leia. Goes down and she did not get to use her coalescence. This is looking very a bad. Peter goes down. And off point perfectly. Ooh, but he gets picked up. It's all up to kingdom. It's all up to Kingdom. He can't really spin to win anymore. There's Minefields in his way now. Gecko. Gecko is just showing up. He's trying to help. Kingdom Ooh, goes into a spot. Stick there by by and it's not looking good. It is not looking good. It is now 99. 9. 
99 here. Someone needs to make a big play here. And it looks like Sugar Rush is going to step up to that play, make a big play. And Sugar Rush will win. Oh, they will not win the series. Brigitte is here. And Kingdom will also be back. And he is close to Minefield. I think a pop of Minefield could be back. And Kool is going to swap up to Roadhog. I don't know why, though. And it's just... It's Even wouldn't be faster to get back. Yeah, what? Well, Kingdom won't even get a chance to pop his. Oh, no one will be able to touch. And Sugar, Sugar Rush, Rush won't be able to take serious. And now, with excuse the... me, I need to go drink some water. With the big quad DPS strat coming out there, with just damage coming from so many different places, <laughs> finding that widow in the back, I don't know who you give it to. Every the DPS from Sugar Rush are here, and they're here to stay. A great match from both teams, though. And that's a series. I, I definitely think if they would have swapped that up a little bit longer, they could have maybe won that. I would have loved to see maybe a dive goats there coming out from meta rejects when they know they knew what comp was coming. Um, with yeah. the widow coming there on the last point, but it is just so hard to decide and ho so hard to know. Big props to Sugar Rush and how they played that. That quad DPS coming out from them to have players that can play all those positions that well and that coordinated really really shows something that they're a very strong team here yeah and are we gonna be having any interview no interviews thank you for joining us uh i need to go drink a crap ton of water because that i have never talked that fast in a while and i just deafened myself because i am smooth Thank you guys for having me as casting. It was my first time and it was a lot of fun. Um, I hope to be back. And don't forget to tune in next week to watch Solo Cup versus Liquid Nova. My old team versus my new team. It's going to be a lot of fun. And my, uh, uh, well, you know we're going to win. My team so. versus my own team as well.